what's the difference between the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain? Well, your left side of the brain, your logical-based, identity-based part of self, um, the part that knows itself as self, always seeks to define boundaries and seeks to define forms and seeks to label and explain and figure out. However, our existence is not merely our left brain. It's also um, a, an interrelationship with the other part of the brain, which we also utilize. And that part always seeks to unify. It almost lacks concrete boundaries of self. And it's also, um, some theorize, the place where your subconscious mind lies. The part that is more connected to uh, the holistic whole of reality. More connected to God, I guess. Um, the conduit of which we communicate psychically with the universe and um, with our intuitive notions of reality. Um, I wonder what happens to those two separate, seemingly fragmented parts of self when we pass away um, out of our bodies, when we no longer have this vehicle that we're using to communicate with the world and understand our identity and as, um, as Emily or as whoever you are, Sam, Monica, Rita, who are you? Who are you is the component of all the interconnected patterns created and made between the left and right hemispheres merging. Strangely enough, though, if you separate those two parts of the brain, they can function almost independently. In fact, there's been case studies where someone's corpus callosum, the bundle of nerve fibers connecting one hemisphere to the other, that was severed. One part of the body would be reaching into the closet to get dressed while the other one was unbuttoning the shirt that he'd put on. Um, actually, I think it went the other way around. He was unbuttoning the shirt while the other one was trying to uh, put something back into the closet. In any case, it, it just shows that we can have two separate wills, one of which is what we're rationally told we need to do, the other which is a little more emotionally based right brain self, which is what our, uh, our unconscious repressed desires are um, calling out for. But the case I wanted to make was what's going to happen to those senses of self when we pass along? Um, and is there, a way to, is there a way to integrate them in this lifetime? Because if they're not integrated and we're in raw energy form, I wonder if they'll be able to hold weight together as an identity when we when we pass away, or are those different fragmented senses of self going to become isolated and go off on their own? And, um, and to what extent do, does each part of the mind need the other in order to to thrive and to understand its awareness completely in the way that we? Um, take for granted um, being a human in this reality.